Hello and welcome to the tutorial on different types of numbers. Different types of numbers. Now you've probably come through the different types of numbers, you've come across them before. What we're going to do now is label what they are. So let's start with the first one. We're going to look at cardinal numbers. cardinal numbers. Now what are cardinal numbers? Cardinal numbers specify how many. Cardinal numbers specify how many. For example, let's say we have four pencils. Now that is a cardinal number. It's telling you how many pencils there are. What if we had seven cats? Again, that is a cardinal number. It's telling you how many cats there are. So that is cardinal numbers. Now let's have a look at nominal numbers. Nominal numbers. Now what are nominal numbers? Nominal numbers they name something. Nominal numbers name something. You can also say they label something. So nominal numbers name something. Now, for example, let's say we've got a, a car. The car is in a race. I'm not very good with drawing, so bear with me. So this car is in a race and the car's number is 418. Now that is the, the label of the car. It's named the car. So therefore that is a nominal number. What else can you have as a nominal number? Well, suppose you see someone playing football or playing netball or playing cricket. Now at the back of their shirts they will have a number. It could be 7. It could be 3. It could be 12. Those are again nominal numbers which are on the back of shirts of people who play sports. What else can you have? You can also have telephone numbers. Telephone numbers. For example, if you want to call somebody in London, let's say you have, you're going to dial this number. So that is the telephone number in London, and that number is a nominal number. It's naming something. It's naming somebody's phone number. So that is nominal numbers. And lastly, we're going to go through ordinal numbers. Now what are ordinal numbers? Well, ordinal numbers they tell you the order of things. They tell you the order of things. You can also say the position of things. We're just going to scroll down to get a bit of room here. Now how can we explain this best? Well, let's suppose we have cars in a race. There's the start line. And this is the finish line. And let's suppose we have a, a blue car. And we have a, a yellow car. And we have a green car. So we've got three cars in the race. The winner of the race is the blue car. That's crossed the finish line. So therefore the blue car is first. And this is how we write it down. First. And first is an ordinal number. Why? Because it's telling you the order of the race. The blue car has won. What about the next one? We've got the yellow car. Now the yellow car is, looks like it's going to finish second. It is second in the race. 
and that's how we write second. We write the number two with an ND, second. And lastly, we've got the green car, and the green car is in third place. So this is how we write it down. First, second, third. The first has got an ST, second, is the way you say it, second has got an ND, and the third is the number three with RD. So just to recap, these are the different types of numbers. You've got the cardinal numbers, which means how many. The nominal numbers, which names something. It's a label of something. And you have the ordinal numbers, which tell you the order of things or the position of things.